Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you doing and how have you been? My name is Doreen Mora Morata, the founder of an initiative called I Am A Beautiful Story that aims at normalizing the HIV conversation and also giving you lived experiences of people living with HIV and also educational videos like this one on matters HIV. So if you're new here, welcome and uh, don't hesitate to click this, the subscribe button as well as if you love this video, please give it a like and leave a lovely comment. So So today I want us to, do, to talk about HIV treatment. And when I say treatment, I mean ARVs. HIV has been in the world for the last 41 years. So far, it does not have a cure. However, we do have treatment that people living with HIV use to manage the disease or rather the health condition itself. I don't like calling it a disease. <laughs> so the, the health condition itself. What I mean by this is we have drugs called antiretrovirals or rather ARVs. What ARVs do is they get into the body, they suppress the virus, rather they control the virus from multiplying and replicating itself in your system. The HIV virus when it attacks you, or rather when it gets into your system, it basically lives in three places in your body it lives in your brain i don't understand why it lives in the brain i do not know why it also lives in your um bone marrow as well as your blood so those are the three places where you will find the hiv antibodies however when the arvs come in they suppress them so the arv has its own thing and goes somewhere and suppresses the virus on its own and ensures that it does not multiply it does not attack your immune system and it also does not cause more harm to your body exposing it to opportunistic infections so when the ARVs do this and that the virus is suppressed it means you reach a place called u equals u or rather a level called u equals u that means your virus is suppressed and you are now undetectable undetectable just means you have controlled the virus in very lay layman terms you have controlled the virus Where, uh, how to know you are undetectable you take a test called the viral load test which tests the amount of virus in in your blood when that happens now when you're undetectable it means that you keep away opportunistic infections opportunistic infections are the uh, meningitis i almost say diabetes no diabetes is a non-communicable disease uh, are meningitis pneumonia typhoid is malaria an opportunistic infection? I don't know. Maybe you can answer me that. But um, we also have tuberculosis. Tuberculosis and meningitis are some of the killer disease, killer opportunistic infections that actually take away the lives of people living with HIV. So if you just got tested, this video really might help you in starting treatment early. But today's video, I wanted to not only highlight the importance of taking treatment, but also to tell you what happens when you don't take treatment and when you do you you start and then you stop so once you have started your treatment and you have reached an undetectable viral load it does not mean that now you stop taking treatment it means that you continue because being undetectable means it needs to be controlled somehow and for you to control it it means you have to continue taking your ARVs very faithfully and effectively every day uh, what also happens is now when you start taking a treatment your life becomes normal that is why some people look at me and say oh don't you, you don't look like you have hiv it's because i take my ARVs because the goal is to not look like i have hiv and ideally saying that statement is a form of stigma so you should not you're not allowed to tell somebody that hey you don't look like you have hiv so that is what happened when it you happens when you take your treatment well it means that you lead a normal healthy life and you cannot transmit hiv sexually especially if you are in a discordant relationship and or a discordant marriage and your other partner is not uh, HIV positive, it means that you cannot transmit HIV to them. So what happens when you do not take your ARVs? You just got tested, 
you know you're HIV positive, but you do not want to take your ARVs. What happens with that is then you as a person expose yourself to the HIV virus. So the virus gets into your body, into your system and starts eating up your immune system. Your immune system are the police officers, the gang, the army that protects you from getting unnecessary infections. So the minute it is attacked, the minute your immunity is attacked, then it means that you have been left vulnerable. Your body is now vulnerable and even a common cold can attack you and kill you because yeah, you let it be. So you're not supposed to stop taking your ARVs or rather to delay taking your ARVs because it reduces the amount of uh, CD4 cells in your body and increases the level of virus. The level of virus is supposed to be anything below 50. So when it reaches 10,000, 100,000, it means that your body is really at risk of opportunistic infections and uh, also the disease is advancing because HIV has four stages, stage one, two, three, and four. So four is the, the fourth stage is the last stage, which is now called advanced HIV disease or AIDS if you want. If you have been following me for long, you know that HIV and AIDS are not the same thing. HIV is the virus that causes AIDS. So AIDS is the disease and AIDS, uh, once you reach the AIDS stage, you have, there is that possibility that you're going to die. I am not scaring you, I'm just telling you what happens when you do not take treatment. So you have to take your treatment faithfully, you have to start early in order to control the virus, not to get out of hand. So what happens to you when you have been tested, you have started treatment and then you stop? So technically, okay, not technically, what really happens is you start you suppress your virus and then you get tired. It's what we call a drug holiday. What I did when I went to Loliondo. If you have not seen my Loliondo story, go back and you will see it in 3D. And I explain what happened when we went to Babua Loliondo and I stopped taking my treatment for two years. So what happens is uh, the ARVs that had suppressed the virus initially now come out to play, to be happy, to now fit, make you feel what it means to live with the HIV. When I say this, what do I mean? I mean now the HIV virus comes back stronger. You know it was suppressed. It's like closing something in and then you let it go because all of a sudden you're not on treatment. So when you do that, the ARV replicates itself. You can get something called treatment resistance, which means because you have already uh, opened up uh, yourself, like you put yourself in a very vulnerable situation, your body rather, the HIV is now happy. So it's now replicating itself at a, a higher level, right? It's like removing photocopies all over again. And then when it does that, then uh, I am explaining this in the simplest manner so that all of us can understand. So when the virus does that, when you go back to treatment, I went back to treatment and I'm on, still on first line and I'm going to do a video on the differences between first line, second line and third line medication. So I'm still on first line. So when you do this, when the virus uh, replicates itself, sometimes when you go back to first line, it might not work. So they take you to second line. Second line is more pills. Uh, first line, you only take one pill. Second line is more pills. Uh, basically, uh, you taking more treatment, uh, like maybe in the morning and in the evening. And uh, sometimes they're not very friendly as the first line medication. So when you do this, first line cannot work for you once you are at a point of resistance. So you're taken to second line. And if second line does not work, you're taken to third line. Why they do this is because, and actually you can jump from first to third line because the regimens in second line, regimens a type of medication might not work for you at that moment. So what I'm trying to tell you is once you start your medication early, that is the main aim of this video, start your medication early, don't stop your medication. And if you reach a point where you are undetectable, continue suppressing the virus because that is the goal of taking your treatment. All in all, we still don't have a cure. Don't let anybody convince you that you're healed, you're cured, you have what? No, don't. That is denial. That is what I call denial. What I can tell you is continue taking your ARVs every day faithfully. It is not easy. 
But don't do it because I've been on treatment for 17 years. Don't do it because you're like, oh my God, I am going to be here 17 years later. No, do it because you are doing it to live every day, to achieve your goals, to live a normal life, to continue enjoying the small parts of life. There's a, somebody on my Facebook who usually says that Ugali is so sweet for you, excuse me, for you to die uh, early or rather to die an untimely death. So please don't be the kind of person who gives up just because you got diagnosed with HIV and now all of a sudden you have given it all up. Life is for the living. And when some, a lot of you usually say, oh, uh, what if people talk about me? The same people you're worried about, that they will see you taking ARVs, are the same people who, when they come to your burial, they will be asking why you did not continue taking your ARVs in the first place. So please take your ARVs faithfully. Don't stop. Don't get lied to. There is no cure yet. There is an injectable coming up, and I've done a video about the injectable, so please go back and watch the video. There is an injectable ARV coming up, so it's going to make our lives easier in terms of adherence to treatment. So today's video was basically about treatment, encouraging you to keep going, encouraging you to start if you have not yet started, and basically encouraging you to keep going on and do not stop. This conversation has been brought to you by one by one 2030 organization as well as the Access Challenge and the Kigali Hope organization. Please follow us on social media and let's continue keeping in touch. Leave a lovely comment, like this video and share it as widely as possible. And if you love me of course hit the red button and subscribe. See you next week with another new video. Bye bye.